Welcome, one and all. This is your host, Squirrel Lord, speaking. And today, for a special video, I have decided to release a new series called Meet the Citizens. It's also going to be known as Squirrel Lord's Taxi Service. And today, I have a very special guest. His name is Wolf Daddy. He is a fellow streamer. He loves to play Star Citizen and turn on awesome music and just groove to flying around, blowing up targets, low flying, and getting into general shenanigans. He was very kind to take this opportunity to take a little ride in my 85X for my taxi service and interview. Enjoy the show. I know I had fun making it. For today's episode of Squirrel's Taxi Service, I have been graced with the presence of Wolf Daddy. Thanks for dropping in. We're going to go out and take a look at stuff and I'm going to ask him questions. So let's get that 85X queued up. And Wolf Daddy, have you thought of a location you want me to fly to? Um, I do like Microtech. We could go to Planet Colorado, basically. You got it. Yeah. I love Planet Colorado. It's my favorite. Not going to lie. And uh, I'm going to answer some questions. I, well, this could be luxury, or this technically could be some type of forced uh, interrogation, I guess. The R sky remember, is remember like... it's, it's not it's not waterboarding if you use diesel fuel. Uh, right, okay, so this Hangar is, 9, my good sir. This is a forced interrogation. Okay, Hangar 9. Yes, sir. Right, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna run with you. So it's a forced interrogation but would disguised as a choice. So let's go. <laughs> I like forced interrogations. Those are fun. I'll never tell you a thing. <laughs> You'll never get me alive, but then they always do because I'm still alive, you know. <laughs> right. And you know, I try to hold my own, but <laughs> well, there's some guy singing right. in a cage in Cuba. Here we are. <laughs> My little taxi service is open. Go ahead. The ladder to get in is on the right side. Um, I have to get in on my own. <laughs> this is gonna, this is gonna, this is really gonna hurt your tip, you know. I, I guess. I, I, uh, did you already start the meter? <laughs> Not yeah, that yet. face says it all. That's what they all say, but secretly that meter's already started. I know. It was started Shh. before we even got in. I mean, this is nice. My Uber had LEDs though, too. I'm just saying. <laughs> Worst Uber driver. All right, so Wolf Daddy. <laughs> Tell me a bit about yourself. How did you learn about this game, and when did you start playing? Oh, uh, well, I learned about this game back in probably 2013. Uh, it was the first time I read about it before it officially came out or whatnot. It was like right before it came out, I learned about this game. And I remember thinking, I will never, ever in my life play this game. And well, I don't. I, I still haven't played this game. I don't. I don't. I don't know. It, it seems cool, I guess. I guess, but huh? What I've heard is not out yet. Right. Oh, we're we're professional uh, alpha testers. Didn't you know that? This will be great for both of our, uh, you know, uh, resumes as uh, YouTubers. Oh, <gasps> you're so right. I didn't even think of that. That's, so okay. That's and right. Then, so. Um, the Squirrel Lord is always right. Foundation is always accepting new members. Oh, oh, okay. I thought you were gonna say accepting funds. That too, as if you like my uh, driving. <laughs> so yeah, <laughs> take a look at the external of the ship. This is this was the first ship I bought with in-game currency, and oh, yeah, yeah. I ran a lot of bunkers with this thing. Got into a lot of shenanigans. I've actually rescued a lot of stranded players with this thing. Oh. Yeah. 
This is one. So what changed your mind from not uh, wanting to play this to wanting to play this? Or is it just well, the same excuse as me? I just didn't have a computer that could run it at the time. No computer. In fact, fun fact, when I started streaming, I originally started streaming on an Xbox on a couch. And I had a laptop. And then I stopped streaming for like a year, came back, and I didn't have any of that. So I started streaming again with nothing but a cell phone and a laptop. And now I am where I am today. So no, I had no idea I would ever be here, but I am here today. That's wonderful. That sounds like you've come a long way since then. I tried to, but you know, walking is, uh, well, it's kind of lame. So I decided to get a PC and get a spaceship and start flying. Yeah. Oh, and you asked how long I've been playing. I've been playing for eight weeks now, two months, two months. Oh, wow. That's cool. So, you know, just uh, for the purpose, uh, what kind of player do you consider yourself? A pirate, mercenary, trucker, jack of all trades? Um, jack of all trades, but a merciless bounty hunter more than anything. Probably. Nice. Very nice. Got you. You like to murk things, blow things up. Yep. And you've been playing check, just check. for a matter of weeks, and you've been enjoying it. Is this a game you would recommend to a friend? Or is this kind of more of a specialty sort of game? Oh, oh, oh that's a tough one. Like, if you had to be the salesman for this game, what kind of people would you recommend this to? General audiences or a niche crowd? I would say everybody needs to buy, buy, buy now, buy now. If you don't buy it now, you're going to miss out, and then you're not going to be the cool one on the club. And let me tell you something. If you don't buy this game, everybody else around you is going to buy the game, and nobody is going to want to hang out with you. You know why? Because this game is cool. This game is the ish. This game is going to be the new it, the new thing. When meta hits, it's going to be the meta of meta. Meta is going to be jealous of how meta this game is, okay? So, yeah, I would say in the end, I agree with you. Everybody should buy, 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 buy. Uh, I would say it's even beyond niche. And, and, okay, but, but on a serious note, here's why this game is beyond niche. It would seem, at first glance, and before you actually pick it up, that this would be a niche game for somebody who wants to fly spaceships and be in space. But the type of gameplay that it offers and the amount of varying rules that you can play offer all types of gameplay for all types of players if you like space if you like trucking games well you can do space freight and you can space truck if you like fps you know combat games well as that gets more fleshed out you can spend time playing fps and doing nothing but combat it it, it really caters to the individual playing the game if they understand that and that's going to be the toughest part for them to help people understand. But yeah, I think it's an everybody game. All right, so I am your taxi service, and then we shall taxi to the lake and river. And thankfully, the 85X can get us there rather quickly. Um, um, uh, I didn't, I didn't bring enough money for the, uh, for the round trip. So, um... Oh, don't worry. I've got the finest, uh, you know, indentured servitude factories. I mean, workplaces that oh. encourage. <laughs> now that would be her. That would be Hurston, right there. It's okay. You know what? Just, just leave me on the planet. I'm gonna, I'm gonna walk home with a pack of wolves. It's fine. I'll, oh, uh, don't use those on me. I didn't know you had guns on them. I didn't know you had guns on this. Oh my! You gotta tell the passenger before you go whipping out the the repeaters. Uh, are, are, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to trigger you, my good sir. I will try to be a better. Uh, yeah, time. you're. <laughs> Thank you. I will try to be a better. Uh... <laughs> I will write your manager. Uh oh. <laughs> Oh, remember earlier when uh, people were talking about blackout and red out? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is how you cause a red out. You boost, and you dip your nose down like this. Here, let me uh, 
And now blackout all the way up. All the blood leaving your head. And this is all the blood going in to your head. Yep. That's why That's why it feels that way, because the red out <laughs> is all the blood entering your entering your skull and pull, pooling up in your skull. That's why you're seeing red. And then when it's going the other way, all the blood's draining from your brain and from your from your head. So that's why it all goes black. Um, so yeah, when when you were talking about that, I was thinking about that. I was like, oh okay, okay. If I just use the common sense, it makes so much sense. Thank you. Oh, wow. <laughs> all right, I almost have a visual on it. It's uh, as soon as the uh, ice cap breaks into the. Uh, trees and temperate terrain you are about 40 clicks out from the uh lake and river uh and uh, i'll be honest i'm not paying attention any attention and that's just because i'm the passive okay can do this oh, 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 oh. Oh, no. oh come on man this is leather seats uh, well, I mean, <laughs> you, you're gonna really pass that. Oh, man, that, 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 that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is that, you know, Ikea pleather, okay? Are you Definitely kidding me? This is an origin mind. ship. It is real leather. Many cows That's... died to line the inside of this cockpit, my good sir. You know what I say? But... They're better off as cows. What would you say? <laughs> I would say that this is because you are in love with your mother. <laughs> That's why you wanted all these cows dead. These poor cows. Was your mother really was the life of the cows? Was Don't it worth mother? it? Yeah, it was <laughs> worth it. I have these great seats and tight weather pants. Oh that goose bit my leather jacket. Yeah. That's it. You know what? When you get home, I have called the pizza. They are gonna meet you at the front door. And then we are gonna play songs in front of your house day and night. I'm gonna play that. You can dance to me day and night. You know, all day long. All night long. The pale boys. You terrible person. You cow killer. You probably like hamburgers too. Of course I bought hamburgers. I also love bratwursts. This is a bowl. You should like, I, I'm only a fan of the Wiener Schnitzel. The Wiener Schnitzel? <laughs> hey, look. We got some bread. Let's get some bison and they'll get the bread out, yeah? <laughs> bread. Bison gets the bread out. That reminds me of the uh, WoW guy. Wow. Uh, you know, on a real note, though, I cannot wait to see Pyro. Yeah, same here. Uh, I am stoked about Pyro. Right? Uh, I, I want to do a video on it because I'm just excited about Pyro and all that it's got to offer. I was on the uh, I was on the map earlier, looking at the at Pyro. You know, the interactive map on the website, and it looks so cool. <laughs> It looks like there's a lot of opportunity in Pyro, but it also looks like it's very spread out compared to Stanton. So yeah, uh, like resources really and uh, planning your trips is going to be critical to survival. I was noticing that you can tell just from the layout in the interactive map. Right. Okay. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and mark you down on the app um, as as like a three star. One star for the shakiness, and one star off for the, the German thing, okay? Because I'm kind of scared. I'm kind of scared you're going to take me to a creepy cottage in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> I, well, you did say it. You did say it. Uh, no, that's the question. Let's land at the river, actually. I'll, I'll give you out. Hey, hey, what's up, bro? I'll give you 50 bucks if you land in the water. Bro. If I uh, land in the water, the ship will explode, yeah? No. That's a lie. It's true. I could prove me. it right now. It's the Illuminati. 
It's the lizard people. Hey man, it's the, it's the more man down below, bro. Do you want me to band on that bank over there? Um, as long as that bank's giving us money, yeah, let's land on the bank. Give me some money. Oh, you mean that type of bank. Darn it! I wanted money! <laughs> So now your now your viewers oh. know where to find the river. Oh my god. I lived. <laughs> I'm getting out of here. I am ready for takeoff whenever you Help want. Me. Help me! Oh gosh, in the water! As long as you have your uh, flight suit and helmet on, you can walk all the way out to the middle of the river. That's so awesome. Dun, 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 dun. You thought that we were just exploring. You thought we were just exploring space. But in fact, there was more to it than just that. In a new movie, Deep Blue Sea enters space, space, space. Starring Brad Pitt and Mangelina Jolie in an off of this, out of this world, falls to the wall thriller of action. That's right, man walks through water, man walks through seaweed, man hits rock. Best movie of the year. Followed by the Pitt. sequel, The Rock Strikes Back. The Rock. The Rock fights Mr. T. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we shall fly up the river, and you tell me what station I shall drop you off at, and we shall end our interview, and you are free to go. Feel free oh, to oh. tip the crazy squirrel driver. Yeah, that is good, yeah. Okay, so I can go, okay. Well, thank you. I really want to please me. I thought you would come to hold me against my needle, but it's okay. Probably would be more fun that day, don't you think? <laughs> that would be Thursdays, y'all. We have to keep it family friendly today. Save that energy for Thursday. Oh, you right. mind if I set course to the nearby uh, station? That's all I've got fuel for, and we can conclude this taxi service. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah, no, it's been a, it's been a, it's been a good ride. Um, I might take back one of those stars and give it to you. So now you'll get four stars instead of five. But it's better than three. You are so generous. <laughs> oh, I know, right? <laughs> what would happen if, if I was gonna give you one star? <laughs> I might lose the will to live and fall out of the sky. Not really. What happens if your if your passenger loses the will to live and falls out of the sky? I will catch him and save him and take him to therapy. All right, or, here we go. Or you ready? It could be a bug on your windshield. Whichever happens go. first. All right, you ready? Let's test this theory out. Are you ready? Oh, it depends on the ship, man. Uh, can't All catch right. you in an 85X. Uh, oh, good mean, luck. Good luck. I mean, here we go. You ready? Three. Two. I'm gonna do it. Yeah. I'm gonna do it. No, no, uh, no goal. No goal. And, and nobody cares if I'm gonna do it? I uh, care. Please I'm don't. I'm gonna jump. <laughs> I'm gonna don't. Jump. Oh no, I don't. Oh crap, I did. Oh crap, I did. You're on the way down. Son of a. No! <laughs> I... I didn't mean to press it. Well, I am just floating here. <laughs> squirrel. A squirrel. Um. I'll give you, I'll give you four and a half stars if you pick me up. I get five and 550k credits and you have a deal. 
Did I did it's I okay. I see you? Yeah, I'm 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 dead. I'm dead. Oh, did uh, you smack into me? Taxi service. I lost my customer. I am very and sad. You're going to jail. No, no jail. No, no squeezing the juice. In jail. And then Chris Hansen came out of nowhere and was like, Do you know what you did here today? You killed somebody with a taxi. I, I started a new show called Taxi Murderers. And we, <laughs> we caught you on camera. <laughs> What do you have to say for yourself? I like you, and I want you. Now we can do this the easy way. Or... <laughs> you ever watch Boondocks? <laughs> yeah. Matthew is <Yeah>. handsome. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you for uh, thank you for trying my taxi service out. Thank you for allowing me to <laughs> make my mistakes with you. <laughs> 
<laughs> Next time, don't jump out of a perfectly good moving uh, spaceship. I can only I, catch I'm, so much. I'm, I'm airborne. I can't make any promises. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you for stopping in. And like I said, any uh, final thoughts that you want to share with people for the community, since this is a Meet the Community special? Right. Okay. Hey, everybody, um, make sure to take this taxi ride. You're going to have a heck of a time. And you're going to get to your destination in one solid congealed piece. <laughs> I say congealed. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, you have a great day. Thanks for having me on, Wolf. Absolutely. And thanks for using no Squirrel's Taxi Service. All right, Squirrel's Taxi Service. Thank you so much. Five stars for you. Six stars for you. Six stars. We broke the star meter. Woohoo! Thank you so much. Thank you, my good <laughs> sir. All right. Absolutely. And until next time, people, as always, happy gaming. Well, that's a wrap. And as always, if you made it this far, please consider hitting that like and subscribe button. And again, until next time, happy gaming, everyone.